We're surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. Moses and all the prophets. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The olive tree, King David. We're surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. Samuel and all the judges. Ruth, Sarah, and Deborah and all the great women of God. They all lived by faith. They believed in our holy God. They trusted in his word. They lived in his love. They all walked by faith. They sought a heavenly home. They trusted in his name. They all bowed before his throne. We're surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. Jeremiah, Daniel, Isaiah. Behold the patience of Job. Joseph in his colorful robe. We're surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. Noah and his saving grace. The wisdom of Solomon the king. Judah and all the Maccabees. They all live by faith. They believed in our holy God. They trusted in his word. They lived in his love. They all walked by faith. They sought a heavenly home. They trusted in his name. They all bowed before his throne. They all walked by faith. They believed in our holy God. They trusted in his word. They lived in his love. They all walked by faith. They sought a heavenly home. They trusted in his name. They all bow before his throne. We all bow before his throne. We all bow before his throne. God bless you, Aerith. Happy Thursday. I've got prophets on my mind. The prophets, not the P-R-O-F-I-T, but the P-R-O-P-H-E-T, the prophets of God. That's what all these songs come from, from the prophets. This is one of my most recent, I have one of my favorites, and it's coming soon, I believe. I really do believe. Malachi 4, the day is coming. Behold, the day is coming. Burning like an oven, all the proud and wicked are burned up like stubble on that day. Behold, the day is coming, burning like an oven, but for those who fear his name, the Son of Righteousness arises with healing in his wings. And on the day I do this, says the Lord of hosts, They'll leave neither root nor branch, but you'll go out from them and sing. For the Son of Righteousness arises with healing in his wings. It's Wednesday. I'm getting ahead of myself. Behold, the day is coming, burning like an oven. All the proud and wicked are burned up like stubble on that day. Behold, the day is coming. Burning like an oven, but for those who fear his name, the Son of Righteousness arises with healing in his wings. And on the day I do this, says the Lord of hosts, you'll trample down the wicked like ashes underneath the soles of your feet. For the Son of Righteousness arises with healing in his wings. Behold, the day is coming, burning like an oven. All the proud and wicked are burned up like stubble on that day. Behold, the day is coming, burning like an oven. But for those who fear his name, the Son of Righteousness arises with healing in his wings. The Son of Righteousness arises with healing in his wings. Son of Righteousness arises with healing in his wings. Behold, the day is coming. The day of the Lord is at hand, I believe. I really do. The Jews, my family in, in blood, 
we are back in Jerusalem. I'm not in Jerusalem. I'm in Cal Southern California. But my heart is in Jerusalem with my family in blood, my Jewish family. Ezekiel 36 and 37. I really love that we can have Halloween and enjoy it for God. These songs inspire me. <laughs> the skeleton dance. Son of man, can these dry bones live again? Son of man, speak to these dry bones and tell them. Hear the word of the Lord. Rise from the dead and I will give you breath. Hear the word of the Lord. I'll take away your hearts of stone and give you hearts of flesh. I am the Lord your God who forever lives. So I prophesied as the Lord commanded me. And as I spoke, I heard the dry bones rattling. And the bones came together and danced. Then all the sinews and flesh and skin covered them. But still there was no breath. So I prophesied. Hear the word of the Lord. Rise from the dead and I will give you breath. Hear the word of the Lord. Take away your hearts of stone and give you hearts of flesh. I am the Lord your God who forever lives. Do the skeleton dance. Do the skeleton dance. We're not dry bones anymore. That's why we raise our hands and do the skeleton dance. Do the skeleton dance. We're back in Jerusalem, fulfilling God's promises. Now we sing and lift our hands to the skeleton dance. He'll breathe life into you. He'll give you the biggest kiss. The breath of God comes into you when you come to faith in him. And do the skeleton dance. Do the skeleton dance. We're not dry bones anymore. That's why we raise our hands and do the skeleton dance. Do the skeleton dance. We're back in Jerusalem, fulfilling God's promises. Now we sing and lift our hands and do the skeleton dance. Hear the word of the Lord. Rise from the dead and I will give you breath. Hear the word of the Lord. I'll take away your hearts of stone and give you hearts of flesh. I am the Lord your God who forever lives. I am the Lord your God who forever lives. I am the Lord your God who forever lives. Yeah, Halloween, just like anything, it's what you make it. You know, Halloween, I, I, I mean, how, how do people really celebrate it? And they go out and get candy and give candy to kids and decorate with spooky, you know, stuff. It's, it's innocuous in itself. It's all what you make it. Some people make it evil. Some people make it about the devil. Some people make it about, um, you know, things like that. But for me, I think it's fun to take scripture and t like the skeleton is. i mean can these dry bones live again these are these are symbolic things that we can sing about and they mean things um you know that's a symbolic thing about the breath of god giving us life by staying in his word by staying in his truth so yeah we like candy we like good things we don't like evil we trample on it <laughs> by our prayers. This is from Daniel now. Daniel 10, 10 through 19. It's called He Touched Me. 
No more Halloween on this one. <laughs> it's fun. He touched my lips as I stood there trembling. He called me beloved, me who am nothing. No strength remained in me. I stood there trembling and he touched me and gave me strength. He touched me and then he said, fear not, peace to you. I've come to show you the truth. Fear not, man of God, speak my word. Sing my song, fear not. Man of God, fear not. The time has come, the end is approaching. All things are fulfilled, I am coming. Very soon you will rise to meet me in the sky. My dear child, keep shining my light. Hold on, my child. For just a short time. Fear not, peace to you. I've come to show you the truth. Fear not, man of God, speak my word. Sing my song. Fear not, man of God, fear not. Fear not, peace to you. I've come to show you the truth. Fear not, Man of God, speak my word, sing my song, fear not, man of God, fear not. All the world just worships the beast, most all live in lies and greed. So much hate and bigotry, very soon the world will see the king. So fear not, peace to you. I've come to show you the truth. Fear not, man of God. Speak my word, sing my song. Fear not, man of God. Fear not. Fear not, peace to you. I've come to show you the truth. Fear not, man of God. Speak my word, sing my song. Fear not. Man of God, fear not, fear not, man of God, fear not. Amen. What makes a person a man or woman of God? Faith, faith in our holy God, studying his word, eating it up, staying in this truth living in love, living in grace and truth and faith. This is Isaiah 11. Isaiah 11, very pivotal chapter in the Bible. It talks about the Messiah and it talks about the coming kingdom. You know, the Bible says in the end of Isaiah, it says we look for a new heaven and a new earth because this one's going to burn. <clears throat> Isaiah 11, the lion and the lamb. That's the future kingdom we're going to be in. It's not, I don't think, it might be on this earth, but I don't think it is. Time will tell. There is a rod from the stem of Jesse. A branch grows from his roots. The spirit of God rests on him like a dove. The spirit of wisdom and truth. The spirit of counsel and might. The fear of the Lord is his delight. He won't judge the people by his sight, for all his judgments are right. And the lion and the lamb together forever, the wolf and the calf together forever, bears and cows eating grass together, and a little child leads them on. Leopard and the kid together forever. All the little cubs are playing together. Snakes do no harm to our children forever. For all shall know the Lord. And there will be a root of Jesse. He's the one the Gentiles will seek. 
a banner who will stand for all man. He tells us, blessed are the meek. He shall strike the earth with his word and slay the wicked with the breath of his lips. But he will have compassion on the outcast and protect all those who are his. And the lion and the lamb together forever, a wolf and the calf together forever, bears and cows eating grass together, and a little child leads them on. The leopard and the kid together forever, all the little cubs are playing together. Snakes do no harm to our children forever, for all shall know the Lord. We look for a new heaven and a new earth, because this one's gonna burn. We look for a new heaven and a new earth, because this one is gonna burn. The lion and the lamb together forever, the wolf and calf together forever, bears and cows eating grass together, and a little child leads them on. The leopard and the kid together forever, all the little cubs are playing together. Snakes do no harm to our children forever, for all shall know the Lord where we're going. All shall know the Lord, top to bottom, all shall know the Lord. One day, one day, all the world that we live in, all that will be left are those who love and know the Lord. There's a lot of people in the world today that claim to know God. But by their deeds, they deny him. This is Elijah. This is called Elijah calling. This is what I put. I believe the Lord's put on my heart for such a time as this. This is Malachi three and four. I come in the spirit of Elijah. That's the spirit of the Lord, the Lord God Almighty. Soon is coming to the earth i come to turn the hearts of the fathers to their children and the hearts of the children to their fathers the day of the lord is at hand because you live in hate toward others god made gays for his own reason not to hate and not to harm God hates those who have no mercy and hurt people for who they are. God made gays for his own purpose. He won't take it much more. God made gays for his own glory. We're part of the army of the Lord. I'm part of the army of the Lord. I come in the spirit of Elijah. That's the spirit of the Lord. I come near you for judgment. You deny his holy word. Turn away from adultery and idolatry. Leave your greedy, lying, hateful ways. The day of the Lord is at hand because of idolatry and hate. God made gays for his own reason, not to hate and not to harm. God hates those who have no mercy and hurt people just for who they are. God made gays for his own purpose. He won't take it much more. God made gays for his own glory. We're part of the army of the Lord. I'm part of the army of the Lord. And then those who fear the Lord spoke to one another. The Lord listened and heard them. A book of remembrance was written before him for those who fear the Lord and meditate on his name. They shall be mine, says the Lord of hosts, on the day that I make them my jewels. And I will spare them, as a man spares his own son who serves him. And then you shall again discern, 
between the righteous and the wicked, between one who serves God and one who does not serve him. God made gays for his own reason, not to hate and not to harm. God hates those who have no mercy and hurt people just for who they are. God made gays for his own purpose. He won't take it much more. God made gays for his own glory. We're part of the army of the Lord. I'm part of the army of the Lord. I'm part of the army of the Lord. My prayers, God hears. Just because I'm gay does not exclude me from being part of God's kingdom. That's a lie from the devil. They misinterpreted the Bible. American right-wing Christians, 1946themovie.com, proves the Bible was misinterpreted. And they put the word homosexual there where it doesn't belong. Today, well, Islam is an antichrist religion. Islam is evil. And not everybody in Islam is. But the leaders of Islam murdering gays stomping on women, keeping them down. That's evil in the name of Allah. Allah is a false God. Islam is evil. And I pray God save the Muslim gays because they're destroyed by the pigs of Islam. And, you know, today, sadly, right-wing Christianity, it's not any better. It's not any better than Islam today. Right-wing Christianity and Catholicism, they have broken Christianity by that mistranslation of the Bible. Jesus never said to hurt people. Jesus gave one command and that's love one another. Treat people the way you wanna be treated. Leviticus 19.18. That's the one Jesus quoted, but all the church they quote Leviticus 18 and 20, man shall not lie with a man, uh, another man, right? They misinterpret. That is not talking about gays there. It's talking about pedophiles. There's nothing in the Bible that's anti-gay. New Testament, Old Testament, it is not anti-gay. That's a lie from the devil that has killed the soul of the church. Catholicism is false religion, right-wing Christianity today. It's evil. It's not following Jesus the Christ. This is Isaiah 53, Psalm 22, Isaiah 9, prophecy fulfilled. Jesus was pierced by the Roman spear, prophecy fulfilled. They pierced his hands, they pierced his feet, fulfilling another prophecy. For unto us a child is born, and all the world will look upon him, and they will mourn. Jesus is coming again, all prophecy will come true. Jesus is coming again, I believe he's coming soon. Will you celebrate or weep? On that day, Jesus is coming back again. Jesus was hung on the tree, taking away the curse from me. He's poured out his spirit in my heart, the promised eternity. He was wounded for my sin. He was bruised and beaten for me. Jesus fulfilled all prophecy. Jesus is coming again. All prophecy will come true. Jesus is coming again. I believe he's coming soon. Will you celebrate or weep? On that day, Jesus is coming back again. God supplied the sacrifice, the Ram of God, Lord Jesus Christ. 
God supplied the sacrifice. The Lamb of God is Jesus Christ. And Jesus is coming again. All prophecy will come true. Jesus is coming again. I believe he's coming soon. Will you celebrate or weep on that day? Jesus is coming back again. I'm going to celebrate. I won't weep on that day. Because when Jesus comes back, I'm coming back with him too. That's what the Bible says. Zechariah 14 is coming. This is how I believe it's going to all go down. The bride of Christ, we who have faith in Jesus and have the spirit of God and live in his grace and truth and love, not like the right-wing Christians or Catholics today, they will not rise when I fly away into the sky. They're going to be left behind. A lot, Most Christians are going to be left behind because of bigotry and idolatry. Bigotry, anti-gay, anti-choice bigotry, lies, have turned them into, into bigots. You can't be a hater and know the creator. And idolatry like never before seen in the world. Most all the world worships the image of the beast that America created. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TV, movies, music. It's all the image of the beast that most all the world is worshiping today. Exodus 13, verse 16. God said, I want you to remember what I've done for you when he took people out of Egypt, when he took our people out of Egypt. He said, I want you to remember, write it on your forehead and on your right hand. He wasn't talking physical things. He was talking about spiritual things. Fill your head with the word of God. Give your time, money, and strength to our God. That's what he's talking about. The right hand symbolizes our strength, our time, our money. The forehead symbolizes our thoughts, what we fill our head with. And most all the world today fills their heads with TV, movies, music, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. It's an image and it's the beast and it's destroyed the world, turned the world, all the world today into idolaters. That's what it is. Most all the world are idolaters and they worship the image that America made. 1946, the movie.com, they misinterpreted the Bible, right-wing Christians in America, and then 1946, what else happened? They, um, the image, we created the image of the beast. TV, in 1946, TV began to enter the living rooms of American homes and the and the beast began to rise from there. And I believe America is that last beast. Revelation 13, verse 11 through 16. That's America. Look at verse, uh, I think it's 16. If you compare Revelation 13, 16 and Exodus 13, 16, it's, taking, it's talking about the same thing in reverse, right? They, put, they, they take a mark on their right hand or forehead, right? Symbolic. There's not going to be a physical mark. It's a symbolic mark that we're born with. The mark of the beast is sin. When we're born, we are born in sin. That's why we must be born again. Born by faith in the blood Jesus shed. Faith in his resurrection from the dead. And that then by living in his word, which most of the church doesn't today. Because his word is love. His word. He never. He never told anything. A Christian. He never said to fight against women's rights to their own body. He never said to fight against gay rights. Jesus, in fact, I believe in Matthew 19, Jesus said gays are born this way. Jesus said there are three kinds of eunuchs. In the context of Matthew 19, it's simply men who don't marry women. And the first kind are born this way. What kind of man doesn't marry a woman because of the way they're born? Gay men. Amen. It's not rocket science, really. You know, true Christianity, it's two things. Faith in the Savior, the Messiah, Jesus, and loving one another. That's it. 1 John 3.23 sums up Christianity. Sadly, most of the church lives in 1 John 4.20, which says you can't know God and hate your brothers and sisters that you see. 
How can you love God that you don't see and hate your brothers and sisters? And they don't understand. They don't, the church, they don't understand the hate they live in today because they're listening to lies. They fill their head with the world. They're not following Christ. Most all the world's Christians are going to be left behind on that day. And when we are left behind, what's going to happen then? All hell is going to break loose. I believe America is what I see coming. The rapture first, then America is going to burn for lifting up that pig, Trump. I don't know how it's all going to go down, but it's going to burn. I see it coming. Revelation 18, that's talking to America. I believe it's America and Catholicism too. I don't know how it's all going to go down, but they're going to burn down religion. First Christianity and then Zechariah 14. What does Zechariah 14 describe? It describes a nuclear holocaust all around Israel that God is going to save our people out of. So when you see America burn, head to Jerusalem. If you're not already close to it, there's going to be a great earthquake. And then you must flee into the mountain valley. This is the word of the Lord. This is what I believe God's given me for such a time as this. I know why I exist for such a time as this, a time like none before. The day of the Lord is at hand. I'm here to show the way to keep my people safe. When the eagle's wings are burned, all the earth will mourn and then the lord will come he'll step down on the hill it will split in two and when you see when you feel the earth move you must flee into the holy hill I know why I exist, it's for the king I live. He shakes his threshing floor, the day of the Lord is at hand. I'm here to say the truth, I'm here to speak the truth, to save it but a few. When you see the eagle burn, then the Lord will cover all the earth. And then the Lord will come. He'll step down on the hill. It will split in two. And you will flee into the holy hill. Yes, the Lord will return. And his saints with him will kill all the enemies. So when you feel the earth move, you must flee into the holy hill. So when you see the earth, or when you feel the earthquake, once you see America burn, there's there's coming an earthquake. I don't know how it's all going to go down, but I believe in God's word. And I believe that prophecy in, in, Z, in Zechariah 14 is coming. It's on the way. And this is, this is how I see it going down. If you come to Jesus now, then you will rise when I rise. And we will meet the Lord in the air and have a wedding day. And he's going to change us. The Bible says he's going to change us into eternal beings. It's prophesied all through the Old Testament. Jeremiah 31, verse 32. The golem of God, I believe, is spoken of in uh, Zechariah all over the place. The governors of Judah, the craftsmen, the watchmen, the tents of Judah. That's us, Christians, because Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah. And he came the first time as a suffering servant. Psalm 22. Isaiah 53, Zechariah 6, Zechariah 12. They will look upon him whom they pierced and they will mourn. Jesus fulfilled it all. 
and he's going to fulfill it still because there's still things that have to be fulfilled and he will fulfill them all. And I believe it's soon. So come to Jesus now and live forever. Or if you wait, then you see America burn. Head to Jerusalem. Zechariah 14 is coming. <laughs>